Hello there, I'm Nicola Salter and I'm delighted to be here with you today and I'm delighted to be introducing Candy Sintron to you who is live from Hawaii. Hello Candy. Hi. Um, hi, I've been mentoring Candy now to help redefine and empower herself to discover who she truly is and then create with her a business that matches her life's design and also matches her life's purpose, her personality and also her passion. Now, maximizing Candy's potential and monetizing her worth and her life's purpose were our priorities in the beginning to get her started. And Candy's offered to be with us today so that she can share with you how she's moved away from where she was to where she is today. So thank you for being with us today. And I love working with you, Candy. You're amazing. Um, I've got to tell everyone that your success has been based on your commitment and your motivation to make a change. And I know that this isn't always easy for everyone, but you're doing it. And now, as you can see, you're having some great results by doing that. Why don't you just share with us a little bit about yourself? Hi. Well, first off, I want to thank you so much for choosing me to be on here. I'm very grateful uh, to have met you and have you mentor me through um, quite some time now. Um, I am Candy Cintron. I am originally from New York, the East Coast, um, with roots from Puerto Rico on my father's side and Southern North Carolina roots from my mom's side. Um, I currently reside in Maui, Hawaii, and I've been here for the last seven years. Mm -hmm. I am an occupational therapist assistant, uh, and I've been doing this for about 13 years in different types of hospital settings and nursing home settings. Fantastic. Here I, here I am. Yeah. Fantastic. That's a lot of experience in that field. And, and when you connected with me, can you share a little bit about what you were struggling with in, in your career or personal life or even both? Yes, I'll try to keep this short. <laughs> there are many things I was struggling with. Um, number one, I was very, very burnt out with my job. Um, I loved helping other people get to independence again, but I was just day in, day out. It's the same thing over and over again. And I just, I was so burnt out. I needed a change. Um, I was struggling with my relationship with my mother. Um, you know, I just had some fears, a little bit of health issues, um, some romantic relationship issues, and I just felt lost. Yeah, so I mean, that's a lot in one basket to be handling. And, and a lot of us can resonate with that too. It's like spinning so many different plates at the same time and doing a job that, I mean, I just, I admire you for doing this, but I know how draining it can be when you're taking care of people. So, I mean, can you remember how you were feeling? I mean, you said you were feeling lost. Was there anything else? Uh, yeah, I felt stuck, um, unhappy, stress, limited. I just, I didn't, I didn't know where to go. I didn't know if there was a way out or how mm -hmm. to, how to do something different um, and just exhausted. Right. And exhaustion um, will play into that. It's so difficult to make a decision when you're tired and you need somebody just to open a door for you and say, hey, what about this? This is a choice for you that you could make to get yourself out of that situation. And a lot of times it takes that what I call discombobulation, that falling apart phase to actually mm -hmm. step into making the change. So as you look back and you realize that that was the time of not a great time actually you can also see the gift in that in that it was something that helped you take that first step to change your reality and when mm -hmm. you stepped into the redefine yourself program and, and we connected um, what was it that you really appreciated from the program and that you discovered I really appreciate your time first off mm -hmm. um, and I was able you help bring out my passions that have been suppressed for a really long time. Yes. Um, and I, yeah, and I was able to discover what my true purpose was in life. Fantastic. Do you want to share what that purpose is with us? So we get to hear. Yes. Um, my purpose is to explore the world, sparking adventure, awakening freedom and sharing nature's magic. That's amazing. So um, from there on now and what you've been able to do with that, can you explain a little bit of where that purpose has taken you with your writing and then also the dance and choreography? You've got so many skills here. Yes. So I, I figure, well, you were able to help bring out um, my passions as far as writing. 
Um, I love to write. I love to develop stories through my experiences. And so I now have a, a blog. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a blog page up. And um, I'm also, I also got certified to become an adult Zumba instructor as well as kids. I now have developed my worldly fitness program for, for kids. And I am looking to implement that in some after school programs here on the island, um, as well as maybe some after, you know, week camps in between school breaks. That's fantastic. And um, so you've gone from beginning with the blog and writing content to something that you love doing. And as I understand it, you're going to try and build that and you will build that blog into something that you will hopefully monetize as you get more followers. Um, so you're doing something that you're passionate about and you get to enjoy, which is brilliant. Um, and you're also taking that gift that you have for choreography and dance, which kind of aligns itself with the physical therapy you were doing, into becoming a Zumba certified instructor, but then taking it even further to identify that you can take those skills and create your own program, market with your own signature that's now going out to kids, teenagers, and possibly even seniors at some point. I remember us talking about that. So what's your ultimate goal with all of this? Where do you want to be in a year with this? I, in the next year, I want to be doing, um, implementing my worldly fitness program into the after school programs. I also would like to be um, instructing adults um, because I, I do want to em- empower people. I want to influence people in a sense that, you know, just take a little bit of time out for yourself and have fun with it. And, and da- everybody loves to dance, you know, it doesn't matter if you get the steps right or not. And I want to eventually leave the hospital and have my own business. Well, um, I can see with the passion that you've got around dance and just talking about Mm -hmm. this and having seen some of your work and the videos that you're putting out there, I'm really looking forward to having some of these programs on video that we can all follow and do in our own lounges and rooms at home ourselves and following you because I think you've got this great spunk about you that you talk about, this great life and motivation that's going to motivate others. And it's all about fun. It's all about making that time for yourself, as you've said, and that you're going to be generating income from this is even more exciting because you're feeling fulfilled, you're making a difference, and you're going to be earning income that's going to replace the income from your current work. I think it's also great, as the viewer can see, being a physical therapist person now um, doing work in movement you're also on call if anybody has any trips yeah. or anything like that <laughs> so you've also got that side to you so as our as our audience can see what we've done is for you we've actually managed to pull out all your skill sets and create something within an umbrella of um Uh, different services and offerings that you can give as well as doing something personally as a hobby that you love that you're going to be able to monetize Mm -hmm. at some point through your love of travel. So Mm -hmm. it's all come together really, really nicely. And um, what do you, what do you want to offer out to our viewers today in terms of the wisdom that you want to share having, having gone through this journey? Please, please, please surround yourself with people who expand your mind. Read, read, read. I read every single day. Invest in yourself. The outcomes are endless. Be passionate in what you do and what you believe in because your passion will ignite flames that no hurricane could ever put to rest. Oh, I see. So just keep doing what you love. That's beautiful. That, that came right from the heart and I could feel that very heart-based. And this is what this work is all about. It's about opening up your heart to follow what your heart wants, but also doing this in a practical and effective way. There's no Tinkerbell fairy dust here. It's about taking what you want, but actually making it happen in a grounded way. Thank you so much. Now, how can um, we all reach you? How can we connect with you? Um, I, you can reach me on Instagram at spunky underscore sightseer. And you can DM me there. And my blog page is also on my Instagram page. So fantastic! thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you. You've been amazing. It's been so nice having you here today to share all this information with all of us. And we all wish you the absolute best. I can't wait to reconnect with you and find out what your next steps have been and how they've turned out. 
And um, I know that I'm going to continue to support you on your journey, which I'm also very excited about. So thank you. And for anyone else who wants to um, find out about how they can maximize their potential, you can visit my website and schedule a breakthrough session with me personally for a couple of tips to help you break free from your current situation and break through into the life and success that you want to create. And you can reach me at www dot nicola salter dot com thank you so much for joining us today thank, thank you it's so good to see you and i will see you next time thank you okay. bye